junkin' pool over here from Porterville. Out here, messing around, ain't too bad today. Started tearing a little bit of electric motor apart. Thought I'd see if I could get some of it on film. On video, I should say. A little bit more copper to my pile there. I got a new helper here. He's a professional forklift operator. Now, Tigger, would you like to give any words of wisdom to anybody? That's it? All right, then. You be careful running this thing. That's Tigger. So anyway, usually he meows really loud today. For some reason, he's just quieter than I've heard him in months. I'm going to see if I can actually get this so I can see it. Or you can see it, I should say. Let's hope so. Here we go. So this is Junkin' Pool in Fourville. we got some cast aluminum that's on the end of this motor. I took my persuader, the hammer down there. Give it a few whops. Got some copper in here. I started cutting a little bit so it come out easier. Ain't too bad though. This motor apparently was burnt down. This is all, it ain't actually wire, so it's more like a copper tubing. And it should all go as number one. I'm hoping I get this on there. Well, that's what we're looking at right there. And we got the pail over here. In the pail there. I've had this motor around for a couple years. There's another piece. Pretty pretty thick stuff. pieces here come out of there. Another piece here. Some of them electric motors, the older ones, got some copper in them, and some of a lot of the newer stuff is fake copper. It looks like copper. If you don't know, most people know, but get in there with a screwdriver and scratch it, and it's actually aluminum. Better off, in my opinion, taking that aluminum wire in, or two, taking the aluminum motors in, dirty, or even some of the copper ones, if they're not older and heavier. I've got a couple of them I'm going to strip now, but. So this motor is basically done. Another piece here. So, get this Kleenex out. Don't want to gross anybody out too much. Now, this right here is probably brass. I got to check with the magnet, and that's probably brass there. And then that is actually 
two foot steel right there, which is depending on where you go, 12, 15 cents a pound. Depends, the markets are up and down. I've seen it higher than that, and I've seen it lower than that. So there's the copper that come out of there, and then some of that from the wire stripper, and another couple pounds I picked up there. So some of this stuff's been around here for years. One thing about these videos, they tend to get me a little bit motivated to, to do a video. And if I'm going to do a video, I'm actually getting motivated and getting some stuff done. This is a big old motor. I may do that one. Well, I am going to do that one just a matter of when. I, I, I might do it from start to finish is what I was trying to say. So one of these days I'm going to do that. And at least tear it apart. And I usually get a few of them around before I do them. But pretty much getting ready for the holidays. I know I did it before, but I wish everybody a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and Happy Holidays. Started getting some of the brass in there that was scattered all over the floor. There's still so much junk scrap. It's all valuable to some extent. Started putting that in there. I keep finding different stuff. Pulled a few things out of this mess. I'm trying to get this cleaned out. Get the wire stripper there that I gotta get where I can leave it someplace permanently. That's more brass and stuff I cleaned up and put in there. Or dirty brass and aluminum and whatever else. But trying to get the floor picked up. Actually, I've been looking for tools for this car and I found them. Had the old wood stove going yesterday there. That works pretty good. But yeah, I got the water pump on this thing. I have to put a little light on the subject on that. And I was looking, I couldn't find a couple of the uh can't remember what they're called, the star star sockets or I'm brain dead sometimes, so but I could find them and I knew I had one. Well, I had a few of them. I kept finding every size but what I needed, and I got as much done as I could with it, and then I went and found, actually finally started cleaning and come across the tool that I needed, and then it was an easy job getting this thing well, not, not easy. Easier job getting this thing done. I'm trying to get this light to light. I did get the new water pump setting in there, and the bolt started. I want to make sure I got all the bolts in there, because with this super charger here, it's one you want to make sure you don't have to tear back apart again. You had to take the frame mount loose. It, it almost got junked. So hopefully when I, I have run it without the super charger on it. So hopefully it runs really good. I, it should. And then I had to pull this big old bracket off. The way they made this thing, you can't get to nothing. So I'm trying to clean up as I go. And I picked up my lead. I got, I don't know how big a pail that is of lead. There's more around here, but I just get what I got. That thing right there is really heavy. That's a solid chunk of lead. That's all lead there. I've got a few of these, I think, in there. Why? Well, that's heavy. Try to lift it up. I'm gonna try this with one hand a little bit. Yeah. I don't think you can lift that with really one hand too easy. So my plan is to keep on working on that. Maybe work on this a little bit today. I need to get it out of here. And hopefully it goes back together easier and it come apart. But a lot of times I get the tools rounded up, it ain't so bad. And I made sure I cleaned everything real good on there. And I bought it and they'd already tore it apart. So of course there's a few bolts missing, so I gotta make sure I get the right bolt. And I'm gonna see if I can find any more in the trunk. My videos are kind of scrapping videos, a lot of resale for anybody that don't know. 
We sold quite a bit of stuff last three weeks. And you know, we do cleanups and pick the stuff up and if we can sell it, we sell it. And if not, we scrap it or we think about selling it for too long. Just kind of getting stuff around and putting a little bit of 2019 money away here. Get my little cabinet I'm going to put in there a little closer. Ain't trying to do too much. Took a few of my batteries in the other day. Some of them I want to try to recharge. I took 200 pounds in over the yard. And a lot of them were swelled up and broke, so I knew they weren't no good. And the aluminum, some of the aluminum pile, we got a few piles like this around here. Just thought I'd do a video. I usually work pretty much every day. I don't know about Christmas. I might take a half a day off. The way I work, it ain't steady. I'm not working eight hours out here. I work an hour here, an hour there, and see what's going on with the bills. And Usually we try to have a little something in reserve. We need some emergency money or some bills. This is tax time of year, so that's always wonderful. And I was looking for something right when I'm thinking about it. I want to get my fuel furnace hooked up. And I was looking for one of these filters. I got one that covers all rounded out. And I'm working on my bench and I found this one. It's really dirty. So I'm going to get in there with a wire wheel. Clean it all up really good. Blow it all out and clean it up half a dozen times. And that's exactly what I was looking for. And I found it on my bench. I went to different yards. I went to the hardware to get this fuel well furnace going. Then I could put the chimney in and I don't know, may not get it going this year. I probably will though. I'll be out there putting the chimney up and the snow is blowing, but that's all right. The way it goes, yeah. A lot of junk. Now this is the junk and fool over here in Poorville. I appreciate everybody watching. And I like all the other scrapping videos. I can't never remember them all. I always look for them and check them out and try to learn something. That's what it's all about. And we don't have a scrapper union that I know of. And I don't think I want one, but it's it's pretty neat seeing uh, everybody doing the scrapping or all the videos. It's my favorite pastime. So thanks for watching. Thumbs up or subscribe. And Happy New Year and Merry Christmas and all that good stuff. Have a great day. Go find some junk. Goodbye now.